It's maths! It's maths! Let's rub the magic elbow patch and see what fun is coming up today. No more sad maths. It's bad maths time. Pay attention, it's Maths Mansion, the game show where you get to test your maths ability. Feel the tension in Maths Mansion. Let's see how good at learning maths these kids are gonna be. If they want out, then they must earn it. There's no leaving till they learn it. The only way of getting out is mathematically. <laughs> Well, it's just another day, and where are we? Oh, Maths Mansion. <sighs> Still here, then? Were you born mean, or did you have to work on it? <sighs> A bit of both, dear. Oh, no. Here comes the man who was born sad and has just gone on getting sadder. Now, don't tell Decimol, but I think I've found the perfect pet. <laughs> not a dog, not a cat, but a polyhedron. All polyhedrons have got nice flat sides, but you can get all sorts of different ones. <laughs> now, they don't do much, polyhedrons. They just sort of sit there. But it means, as pets, they don't need much looking after. Now, this one is called a tetrahedron. He's got four faces, all of them smiling. <laughs> Look, it doesn't matter what you say to them. Oi, flat face, still smiling. <laughs> and he's got six edges, yes, and the edges meet at four vertices. One, two, three, four. Ooh. And there's three more lovely polyhedrons here. Now, this square-based pyramid is a pentahedron with five faces. Oh dear, he's not smiling. But then you wouldn't be smiling on your bottom. <laughs> now, this cuboid is a hexahedron with six faces. There they all are. Oh yes, thankfully all smiling, unless you turn them upside down. Oh, now would you believe it? Over here, I've got an octahedron <laughs> with eight faces. I never realised maths could be so much fun. If you haven't got a pet and you really need one, get yourself a lovely polyhedron. A four-faced pyramid's a tetrahedron. A five-faced prism is a pentahedron. A six-faced cuboid is a hexahedron. And you'll find eight faces on an octahedron. You'll find the polyhedrons are easy to please. Choose a couple of faces and give a little squeeze. Stroke them on their edges. You'll put them at their ease and they like a little tickle on their vertices. Is there nothing that sad man can't make nauseating? You'd think polyhedrons couldn't make you sick. They would if you ate a lot of them. You mustn't eat pets. Oh, be quiet. You're getting as sad as sad man. Who are you anyway? I'm Sarah Bisfam from Watford. Christian Cooper from Southend. Right, let's have a little warm up. Okay. Show me quickly, how many faces? One, two, three, four, five, six. All right, quickly, how many edges? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Find a pair of parallel edges. This edge is parallel to this one. Right, those two edges would never meet. Now, give me two faces that would never meet. Two parallel faces. This face would never meet this one. Yes, they're parallel. OK, give me two edges that are perpendicular, that are right angles to each other. This edge is perpendicular to this edge. Yes, that's a right angle. Give me two faces that are perpendicular. This face is at 90 degrees to this face. Yes, that's perpendicular. You seem to have some understanding of polyhedrons. Well, what I'd really like is to have one as a pet. Don't start all that again. It's entirely up to you. 
If you want to feed one, put it on the lead though it doesn't really need one. With luck you won't get sat on and you won't get weed on. Yes, a very fine pet is a polyhedron. Your local rescue centre might have one to sell with lots of lovely edges that are parallel. Or if you are particular, then go for perpendicular and don't forget to check out all the faces as well. Don't worry, don't worry. Oh, hello, madam. Hello. I wonder if you could give me some advice about my pet. Thank oh, you. I'm ever so worried. I mean, look, it's a lovely little polyhedron. It's actually a tetrahedron. Out you come, my lovely. And it's, it's just not very happy. Well, it's happy on three of its faces, but, but not on the, on the fourth face. What do you recommend? I um, mean, what can I do for it? Um, I have no idea. I mean, its edges seem fine. Its vertices are, aren't as nice as they were. <laughs> oh, madam, what's wrong with it? You can tell me. Break it to me. <laughs> right, I'm a man. I can take it. What do you think? It's not a pet. <laughs> what do you mean, it's not a pet? What do you um, mean? What are you trying to tell me? He's not alive, I'm afraid. You mean it's dead? <laughs> oh, no. No, it's Pull never been alive by the looks Pull of it. Yourself. It's never been alive? Mm, no. Oh, in which case, I'll have a gerbil. <laughs> that wasn't very nice. It wasn't real, you know. Anyway, making a pet out of a polyhedron was sad man's idea. I could have come up with it first. But you didn't. Oh, enough of this. Let's see if you're as lippy when it comes to the test. Because the test is ready for you. OK. Four polyhedrons to choose from. Get ready to highlight the one that matches what I'm after. OK. A polyhedron with five faces. This prism. Five faces. One, two, three, four, five. And it's a type of? Pentahedron. Yes, a five-sided shape. Now try this. OK, a polyhedron with four vertices. A pyramid. One, two, three, four. And it's called? A tetrahedron. OK, now find me a shape with some perpendicular faces at right angles. I got it. The cuboid has perpendicular faces. And the cuboid is an example of a... Hexahedron. Which leaves us with the octahedron. Right, highlight for me a pair of perpendicular faces on the octahedron. Uh... Come on, quick! There, there aren't any. Yes. You're absolutely right. Just in time. That was a mean, tricky question. I'm a mean and tricky kind of guy. However, you two are lucky enough to get this week's maths card. A pedigree and two mongrel polyhedrons. Yes! Take it. Oh. Now, would you be able to get a maths card? Try this question on polyhedrons. For each shape, add the number of faces and the number of vertices together. Do they add up to more than the number of edges, or less, or the same? And remember, no leaving without learning. Pay attention, it's Maths Mansion, the game show where you get to test your maths ability. Feel the tension in Maths Mansion. Let's see how good at learning maths these kids are gonna be. If they want out, then they must earn it. There's no leaving till they learn it. The only way of getting out is mathematically. <laughs> All right! All right! I'll say it. A very fine pet is a decimal. <laughs>